All right, turning our attention back to weather here this morning. We've been talking about the uh, warm waters across the uh, in the uh, tropical regions uh, here. Things have been relatively quiet so far, but that could change in a hurry because of those uh, warm waters. So let's get over to meteorologist Maria Ruiz. You're talking more about that, right? We have talked about the warm Gulf water for a couple of weeks now. Temperatures mainly in the upper 80s, but yesterday we actually saw a new record sea surface temperature of 101 degrees off of Manatee Bay. That is really close to Key Largo if you're familiar with the Florida Keys. This is significant because it is the warmest that we have uh, ever recorded sea surface temperature. What this does is this aids in tropical moisture with air that sits right over the Gulf. So what this means is it actually keeps onshore flow warmer. So instead of cooling uh, the Florida coastline, it actually brings up the heat index even up higher. Uh, it also supplies the atmosphere with added warmth and moisture, which unfortunately does create a more uh, energy for severe storms. And we're seeing those severe storms near the uh, Great Lakes today. Now, this can also intensify tropical activity. And unfortunately, 99% of the coral in the Keys is now bleached because of this very warm water. Now, the tropics have been relatively quiet, but we've had four named storms so far and we're watching a couple of other areas. One just to the northeast of the Bahamas has really started to significantly weaken and really lose a lot of its formation. But we're watching another area here that's right off of the African coastline that has a 30% chance of development. But look at the direction it's headed in. It's headed into some very warm waters. And like I mentioned, warmer water can rapidly intensify systems. As of now, this is just an invest, which is really just a weather system that the National Hurricane Center is interested in collecting more data for. Uh, but a lot of models uh, showing that this could develop into something here within the next five to six days. So we'll, we'll obviously keep an eye on this and we will keep you updated on that.